Here we have two interesting thinking and communication questions based on relations and functions. The first one is, draw a straight line which is not a function, if possible, right? So there is a possibility that you may not be in a position to draw such a straight line. And either way, explain your thinking. So that is your question. I like you to think about it, right? Let's read the next question. It says, draw a straight line representing the many to one relation. Is it a function? Explain. So these are two very similar questions and let us see how to solve them. The first one is draw a straight line which is not a function. So when we say not a function, so that means what? So we have to draw a straight line. So let me just draw a coordinate plane first and think about it we have to draw a straight line which is not a function. So whenever you're checking whether a graph is a function or not, first thing which you check is a vertical line test, right? Which really means that if you draw a vertical line, then, you know, the two points on the graph should not be on that line. Now in this case, if I draw a vertical line, what happens? Well, vertical line itself is a line, right? Since vertical line is a line, and if we consider this vertical line, so at every point on this line, we have only one value of x. Do you see that? So for that value of x, let me call that as a. So a is associated with all these different values of y, right? So it is basically a one to many relation, right? So A is linked with so many of the points on the line. So this relation is not a function. So our equation, which is kind of x equals to A, right? It is a vertical line and this vertical line is not a function. So that is the answer to the first question. Now let's look into the next one, which is draw a straight line representing many to one. So that one was one to many, right? So one value on, along the x-axis, this is x-axis, is associated with all the values, all the y-values, correct? So if you start writing the coordinate points, well, you will see that all the values will have x-coordinate as same, which is a, and the y-coordinate will belong to real numbers, right? So that is how it is. Now the second one is, we are looking for many to one. So we are looking for all different values of x, they are just linked with 1. This is what we are looking for. So how will you draw this kind of a line? Now in this case, the line should be, yes, I think you guessed it, line should be a horizontal line, right? A horizontal line is many to 1 relation. So all these different x values are only associated with one y value. Do you see that? These are the points. And these are all exactly the same points. Let's call this as B. So in general, a point on this line will be any value of x and y value will be B, correct? So that is how the point is going to be. And you can write this equation as y equals to B, since y is always B, right? Here the coordinate points will in general be A and Y, where Y value is going to change. Do you see that? A the x value remains constant. So this is an excellent example which gives you a clear concept of functions and relations. So we see this one is a function, right? This one is a function, right? Since for any x value, we have a unique correspondence, just b, okay? So that is a function, but this is not a function, right? As we want it. So that is how we should think about it. Thank you and all the best.